So when you purchase the Motion Pro Kit, you download a zip file. Once you open that zip file, go ahead and head over to the MP Transitions folder, and you're going to want to open that up. Next, pick the folder that matches the resolution of your project, and then go ahead and double click to open one of those category files or one of the All Transitions files. If you get a message telling you that the file needs to be converted, just click OK and you're good to go. Now, if for some reason you get a link media message, it's OK. Don't worry. It's really easy to link the media again. Just click that Locate button at the bottom of the pop-up window and make sure that Display Only Exact Name Matches is enabled. Next, navigate to the Motion Pro Kit folder, the MP Transitions folder, and select the Assets folder. Click Search and Premiere is going to do the work for you. Once that first file is found, click that OK button and the other files should connect automatically. Now that that's done, you have access to the transitions. Go ahead and create a new file or open up the project that you're already working on. And first, you need to disable the nest function at the very top of your project's timeline. Let me show you how you can save time and space by only bringing in those cool transitions that perfectly fit your project. To do this, head over to the Motion Pro Kit transitions file and open up the folder for the transitions you want to use. Then head all the way down to the bottom of the project window and turn on Icon View. This is going to let you preview the transitions. Found something you like? Perfect. Select that transition and then head back over to your project's timeline. I want you to find the V1 track and deselect both sides of it. Why? The V1 track is where the preview video sits. So by deselecting it, you will be able to add the transitions without the preview video. Let's head back to the transitions project and click, hold, and drag the transition from the Motion Pro project into the timeline of your project. But make sure you place the visible layers above your footage and align the cut of the transition with the cut of your two clips. Nice, right? But let's say you want to change the resolution. It couldn't be easier. Select the Change Size Here sequence that is now in your project file. Right-click and choose Sequence Settings. Then enter the desired resolution in the sequence settings. And boom, all of the transitions will automatically update to the new resolution. Now, if you're using a transition with graphics, you can resize them by using the scale and position properties in the effect controls, or right-click and choose scale to frame size. 